this is my home, the ocean. Definitely wouldn't choose any other lifestyle. Pick a spot in the middle of the Gulf and that's where we are. We spend three months straight catching some of the best prawns in the world. You know, look where we are at the moment, the Gulf of Carpentaria. Love it, there's no other job in the world. The 60 men and women that we've got out there catching some of the best quality seafoods in the world. They are the heart and soul of the business. I have so much respect for the people out there and the work they do. They leave their families, their friends behind, but they do get a little bit of enjoyment out of it themselves. I just wanted to come out fishing because my old boy did it back in the, in the early days. 12 years later, definitely a fisherman now. We've got an opportunity to come out with offshore fisheries and never look back. I've been fishing on and off for seven years now and in between I've worked at cafes and I'm a hairdresser by trade and it's always fun to go back to something else but somehow I always end up back here. Probably the biggest thing keeps me coming back would be the people that you work with I reckon. Like, you really, you know, it's hard work, but you turn up for the people that you enjoy working with. And then, I mean, sunsets, sunrises. Our tiger prawn fishery is actually quite large. It extends all the way from Weeper in Queensland, through the Gulf, up into the Northern Territory and to the Tiwi Islands north of Darwin. That's a massive area. And the interesting thing about this fishery is its history. So in the 1980s, it sort of peaked with over 300 boats fishing 24 seven all year round. And that changed to what it is today, which is only 52 boats operating three to four months for tiger prawns. And they're only allowed to fish at night time. So there's been some pretty big changes in the last 40 years in terms of sustainability. Yeah, it's great. It means there's a future for us and maybe our kids and our kids' kids and it's the way of the future, isn't it? Some of the hardest work I've ever done working out here, but it's very rewarding once you get back. Yeah, it's extremely hard. Even after doing it for 17 years, it's still hard each season. It does get easier, but as it gets easier, you get stronger and you work harder, so always a challenge, yeah. It's just so much that goes into it, all to go and catch these beautiful Skull Island prawns. I think Skull Island prawns are considered by many to be one of the most versatile, delicious and impressive prawns on the market. You know, they have these beautiful, vibrant colours. They are one of the largest prawns you can buy. And there's a reason why that brand has such a good reputation. The care taken on this product at sea by our crews is phenomenal. For our larger grades, every single prawn is picked up, inspected, weighed, graded, and gently finger laid for the ultimate presentation and quality. And that's why chefs all around the world love using this product. A skull island have got to be the best in the world. Beautiful prawns, good tasting, easy to cook with. To have them sold all around the world, it's awesome. People to enjoy them and to even go into restaurants and see skull island prawns, it's pretty epic. Every time I'm near the ocean, I feel like I'm at home. So we, we are very blessed to be out here, us fishermen. It'd have to be one of the better jobs in the world, I think. Looking out your office window and seeing the ocean, is probably what keeps me hooked. <laughs>